Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor and it's time for another Kickstarter review. Although this one is going to be a little bit different than the ones in the past. Because instead of looking at a 3D printer and trying to determine whether they're going to be able to deliver on the things that they're promising, we're looking at a product for 3D printing, something that if you already have a 3D printer, you can add to your 3D printer that will quite frankly, fulfill the promise of 3D printing that a lot of us have been hoping for for over 10 years now. So let's jump in and take a look at it. This here is the Wingman. And we can see that, you know, they've got less than two weeks left to go and they have not met their goal yet. So I want to get more eyes on this campaign. But as you check out this campaign, I want you to do it with open this because as we're going to see these guys have a great idea but their marketing is not on par with what we've seen in the past which is actually a good thing and i'll talk about why later but first let's uh put on the headphones and let's take a look at their promotional video so My full screen is damon O'Handy. i work with a brilliant team matthew hauenstein gordon haas Georgiana Clifton and Dr. Robert Buffum. Okay, so already we can tell this is not the flashy marketing video that we've seen in the past. And I, I just wanted to pause here and say the reason why I know about this project is because Haas has already contacted me. We've been in communication. I've already checked it out. So I do have a, you know, through the internet personal connection with this project. Uh, I'm not entirely objective about it, but let's uh, go. But yes, it's we're, it's going to be a little bit of a slower burn here. So let's check it out. 3D Teleprint has created a revolutionary new product called the Wingman. No, not this Wingman. Oh, a little funny. Not this Wingman either. That's it. This Wingman. Oh, uh, pause real fast and let's go back. Well, actually, you can see it here. But do do you see those connectors in there? Do those look like immediately when I saw those connectors, I was like, is that just a Raspberry Pi in a box? It's a Raspberry Pi in a box, but it's not about the hardware that they're using. It's about the software that they're putting on it and that it's already pre-set up for you. So let's check it out. Whoops. Accidentally rewound. That's it. Raspberry Pi. makes 3D printers interactive and interconnected. See how they do that. Take a closer look at how this works. That's what I said to toss. Connect your 3D printer running Marlin to the wingman and a display and power everything on. Okay, so you do need to have a display, keyboard, uh, and a 3D printer with this. So you are essentially just putting a computer next to your 3D printer. But let's check it out. Connected and your 3D printer's turned on. Power on the wingman and connect the wingman to Wi-Fi. Okay, so you are connecting your 3D printer to the internet, and a lot of people might say, "Oh, well, that's that's you know got negative sides to it," but a lot of us are already connecting our 3D printers to the internet, and um, we don't we don't care about that as much. But it's not you know the wingman puts a buffer. It's it doesn't just start prints. It won't start a print until you and, and they don't say this in the video, so that's why I'm saying it right now. Until you say, "Oh yes, I want to print that," and they hit print, you have to okay the jobs before they print. And I kind of like that. Log in using your 3D teleprint credentials and give your wingman a machine name so you can receive print jobs. Okay. Head over to the website and click My Wingman under your username. Easily set your wingman's pickup location. What? All right, let's pause for one second, take a look at the 3D printers that they have on here, Creality CR 10S, uh, LeapFog Creators on there. Oh, that's very cool. So all of these are Marlin-based 3D printers. As he's scrolling through the list, uh, just we're not going to see the full list, but ask yourself, is my 3D printer on here? What 3D printer it's connected to? Cost per hour for your... Okay. They're all Creality machines, and they're all last-gen Creality machines. As far as I can see, they don't have the uh, K1. They don't have any clipper-based 3D printer. They don't have the Bamboo Labs. It's just the, the Marlin-based 3D printers. Okay, let's go on. Your machine's print bedtime. Set material and color availability. Mm -hmm. Then hit update when you're done. 
Now your wingman and the printer it's connected to become publicly visible for local users to send you print jobs. Distributed manufacturing. So let's, I, I, I love this idea. Again, you are, you are advertising that, hey, I've got a 3D printer and I'm in this area, but you can set up your pickup location to be not your house if you're worried about that. Want to print something or have something made for you? Enter the wingman's machine name. Each product has a per print price, and if it's available for sale, you can see the purchase price by clicking on Purchase Part. This is a marketplace. Remember that we just lost the biggest 3D printing marketplace. Shapeways went away. Well, this could be the new Shapeways in a little bit of a way. Now, it's still... This idea has been done before. Not like this, but this idea has been done before that you can make your 3D printer available to the public and that people can get prints on it. And yeah, there's a lot of problems with that idea, but if there is a good software buffer between idiot customers and unreasonable print jobs and you, it might not be so bad. So let's go on. 3D Teleprint is the perfect tool for protecting the intellectual property of designers and machine operators. 3D Teleprint protects your STL that, files and the wingman protects your G-code. As long as you log into the wingman before sending it out, it can't be used with another account on 3D Teleprint. The wingman is the perfect tool for managing many 3D printers in many different locations for yourself, your company, or by your customers. Now that might seem like an odd focus because it seems like an odd focus uh, to me, but this idea started, as I understand it, as you have a designer who's working on the designs and you've got a manufacturer with a 3D printer and instead of like ha putting them both under one roof, we will just send a wingman to your manufacturer, plug it in and the designer can send them the 3D prints. But at the same time, they are also working on that public marketplace where designers can upload their files, put them available for people to, to download and check out and send out. I think, and, and I'm just going to put this out there, but I think that there are repositories out there that could partner with this technology and do amazing things. Imagine if you could choose anything on thangs and the designers rights and prices and all that would be included in the interface and you could print them or my mini factory or colts or any of these repositories I, honestly i think thangs is probably the best one out there and i've tried to put these guys in contact with thangs you know hopefully if this kickstarter does well it'll boost our visibility but let's keep going It is important to know you are only charged designer fees. If I don't I don't even know what this picture is. I don't this isn't this is a render. This is Haas, what are, what are you doing you don't here, own man? The design and operator fees if you don't own the wingman. Clicking print starts a print job. The connected camera lets you okay. and the person who sent you a print job view images every 5 minutes of your part being made in real time. So they'll know when it's ready for pickup. And it should be mentioned that clicking print starts a print job. Only the person who has the wingman gets to start to print. Okay. People who want a job, they put it into the queue of the wingman so that the person who owns the wingman can approve the job before printing it. So if you are the one owning the wingman, nobody's printing stuff on your printer. We even have some printer controls such as pause. Resume. Nice. That was good. That was funny. And cancel. That was subtle, but I got it. Now, those those printer controls are, once the print has started, the customer can go, oh, the print's failing. Stop. Pause it. Or whatever. Uh, they have that option there. Um, so, I wanted to also give a special thanks to, the people special thanks to some people. I think after this, my name should be on this list. Eugenie. Anton. Brandy. I don't know who any of these people are. They seem like lovely people, though. And I'm talking right over their names. Decentralized manufacturing and allow designers and machine operators to push our middle class forward. 
Follow us at 3D Telefer to get updates on when we'll have a wingman by your side. Okay. This is an amazing idea, but it's also a very rough idea, okay? And here's the thing. Every time I make one of these videos talking about a Kickstarter, somebody inevitably pops into comments and says, that's not what Kickstarter is for. This is an established company or it's not a new idea. Or it's... Well, this is what Kickstarter is for. It's a rough idea, sure. And it's definitely not made by people with a big marketing budget. They're not, they haven't fully developed it and they're not putting it out there as a pre-order. And they definitely, like, this This is their marketing copy. Like, six paragraphs. These guys are not fantastic at marketing themselves. But I think that they have a great idea. And more than that, in this, you know, place that we're at right now, where there is no marketplace for designers to put their designs out so that the manufacturing can be done by those with the equipment to do the manufacturing. That's gone. Shapeways is, is gone. But this could be the next Shapeways. Now, this idea has been done before. And for sure, there are some downsides to it. One of the biggest downsides, like I've said before, people are the worst. And whenever you, you know, open up your 3D printer, people are going to ask you to print things that are just not going to work. I mean, yeah, maybe we can put supports on it, but internal support, there's lots of things. If you do 3D printing, you know that it can do just about everything, but it can't do everything. And sure enough, there's going to be people who are asking for something. Now, a good marketplace would fix that provided the people are using the marketplace right but like i said even on shapeways there were people who were just throwing up their designs on shapeways without testing them not realizing whether or not they would work and hoping that people would be their testers this idea needs a lot of what's the word uh curation moderation needs people to go oh, okay hold on for a second that's a good idea that's a bad idea and i feel like they could do that now if this idea if you see something in this idea that you like you should absolutely jump on and support it even at the one dollar level jump into the comments and go you know what i think you've got a good idea but and tell them the things that you would like to see in it. Because, like I said, this is what Kickstarter is for. Kickstarter is, you know, people who go on and say Kickstarter isn't for the big established... Well, what is it for if not this? Somebody with an idea that they need not just funding, but people, friends, to help them develop and make it a better idea. The Haas has made a lot of, Haas and his team have made a lot of progress already on this idea. It's grown and matured, but it's still very rough and it needs your help. Your monetary help, yes, but also your suggestions, your ideas. It needs to grow just that much more. And so that's why I'm making this video. I want to put more eyes on the wingman i want more people seeing it so that we can have a discussion about what we want and maybe support them and maybe see if these guys can be the ones to make those ideas a reality if the idea of hooking up a web enabled device to your 3d printer and if your 3d printer isn't one of those that they that was on their list of 3d printers then support this it, it, if one of you, if your 3D printer wasn't on this list and this was an idea that you like, then support this and say, hey, you guys really need to support this 3D printer or that 3D printer and show that, show where they need to put their focus in development and then help them do that by, you know, the financial support so that they can do that. I love this idea. And I feel like this is an idea that 3D printing needs. And I feel like there are a lot of pitfalls and problems. People have tried doing it in the past, yes, and it doesn't last and it doesn't succeed. And now 
3D teleprint is trying again. I don't know if it's doomed. I don't know if there's any hope for this, but I want there to be hope for this, and I hope that you do too. So I hope that you'll check out The Wingman, and I want to thank you very much for watching and remind you that you are a child of God, so you're special to me. So take care of yourself, and if you can, someone else too. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.